Jun Kim is the author of Landscapes Invisible, an autobiographical literary book of fact fiction now available at Amazon and Barnet and Nobles. He's a writer and flamenco performance planner, doctorate in international politics, lives in Mazan, South Korea, where he was born in 1944. Jun Kim has written eight literary books in Korean and one e-book in English and translated four English books into Korean. In collaboration with Eurobox, he publishes in English a new autobiographical novel entitled Farewell Party. And the author is connected with us today to officially present his new book. Hi, Jun. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Hi. First of all, please tell us what is this novel about? This story is uh, about an Asian man of 75 years old. He is, okay, uh, okay, let me see first. Uh, have you ever heard a Himalayan story like this? 70 year old. Uh, Children, morning one morning, the death of his father at age at age thirty, he was a, a surfer, mountain guide. While he was giving a, he was guarding a team of climber. Uh, he was disappeared into the crevasse due to a huge landscape with snowstorm, okay? Then 50 years later, the glacier pushed his body in frozen status up to the surface of the earth. So the children of 70 gathered to bury a young father. Uh, when I was sort of this story, I was always reminded of my grandmother who died young at 20, leaving behind a one-year-old boy a uh, one-year-old baby boy, she was buried in a tomb on high mountain, too high for me to easily go up to there. I have been to the tomb for 65 years. When I was a boy, I followed my father there at last. A bit farewell to my grandmother there as I was too old to go up there that was motivated me to write the story. And who's the target reader for this book? Who would you suggest this reading to? I thought at the times, there was at the times, during, uh, during writing and publishing the book, I encountered two significant variables. One was coronavirus pandemic, and the other was massive recent election in Korea. So in the first case of, I wanted to finish the book as soon as possible because of the psychological anxiety that I might be infected with the pandemic and die for it. So what I had in my mind was my son and daughter. I wanted to read book and understand me better. So I cannot afford to think of the readers who can read my book and how many readers might, might, might read my books. At the times, I was sorry. I was only think of my father, ah, my son and grandson. So I have never I, I can I can afford to think of other things. Who read the books? How many readers read maybe? Okay. I have one last curiosity for you, Jun. Um, one last question. Are you working yes. on a new literary project right now? I'm too old then, so i just want I just wanted to uh, this book translate into Korean. Korean and so many as my best friends can read these books. So I, I'm sorry, my friends cannot read my books and understand what 
they thought what they what they don't know uh, I'm right uh, the book I write I wrote they didn't know I'm sorry very sorry to that problem I I want to uh, my friends to read my books in in Korean so I write to uh, uh, translate into Koreans so I'm now to translate into Korean difference. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Jun, for joining us today. Thank you for your time. We wish you very good luck with your book. Thank you. Farewell Party, the new Jun Kim's autobiographical novel is now available in bookstores and digital platforms, a publication by Eurobox.